Hi, I'm Crystal. I've loved dolls since I was a child, and I never outgrew it. So, when I discovered Reborn Dolls, my collection started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, and Ava. Along with collecting, I've been a Reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hey guys, so I'm here with a quick little video to show you, whoops, <laughs> to show you what I got. I'm going to start off by thanking Yvonne from My Little Tulip for um, introducing me to this Miracle Milk. And um, I had a lot of baby bottles that were made with, um, whatchamacallit, fabric softener. And a lot of them, like turned solid on me or you know went clumpy or whatever and so I was like <sighs> I and I actually had a almost a full bottle of fabric softener that um that pretty much uh turned on me yeah. um and so I had to dump like the whole bottle essentially so and uh yeah so i thought you know what i'm gonna just splurge and get this miracle milk that yvonne was talking about and really it wasn't that expensive anyways it was like i think like five bucks and then shipping was like i don't know ten bucks or something like that and so i've already like tried it on a couple of bottles and i like it um so this is jeremy's bottle that he came with and it had gone completely solid. And now the only thing is, is that it looks like some of the sealer that was on the nipple has come, like has worn off maybe, I don't know. So it might end up leaking on me and I might have to reseal this, but for now anyways, I just thought I would use this as a demo. Um, so I've filled the bottle with water and then let me just unscrew this cap. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can kind of see anyway. Um, so it says mix 50 drops in eight ounces of water and stir well. Well, um, I don't usually fill my bottles with eight ounces and obviously this is not an eight ounce bottle. This is just um, an Infamil bottle. So I just kind of eyeball it. I just kind of like, I'll count out like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And so like, I just kind of like test it out. Like, cause I did, um, Shiloh's bottle, um, to send off with her. And because it's a premium size bottle, I, um, it came out kind of like, I think I may have put a little bit too many, too many drops for the small amount of water. So anyways, um, you don't really have to stir it. You can just shake it up like you would a formula bottle and you just shake it up really good. And this looks about right. It's hard to tell. I probably should have chose a clear bottle. Um, but you can kind of get the drift. You can see the white in there and it looks like milk. Um, yeah, I'll get one of the other bottles that I did to kind of, that's clear so that you can actually see it. Um, but that is it there. And of course, it's hard to tell with this one if I need to add more or not. Uh, it looks a little bit thinned out, so I might want to add a bit more to make it look a little bit thicker like formula. But yeah, you just basically eyeball it. You just do like a few drops, shake it up, and if you feel like it looks too thin or not like, um, I don't know, formula enough, you can add more to make it a little thicker. And just basically like eyeball it and that's all it does and I've heard that people have had bottles made with this for years that don't go bad 
which is fantastic. Um, and I think I've heard of someone adding a little bit of vanilla extract just to make it a little more formula-like. Um, I don't really care either way about that. I mean, I might try with one of them to add a little extract just to see how it looks. But I'm generally happy with it like this. And yeah, you can see. And it doesn't look like this nipple is leaking. So I think it's still sealed okay, which is great. So yeah, so Jamie has a new bottle now. And it is the Miracle Milk. And you can find it on eBay. You just have to type in Miracle Milk and it should come up. And it's fairly inexpensive. And, you know, I think it'll go a long way. I mean, it looks like I've used quite a bit already because I had one bottle that was like an eight ounce bottle. So that one I had to put a lot more in to make it thicker. But yeah, let me just grab one of the other ones so you can see it better. Okay, so here's Shiloh's bottle that I did. And so you can see how it goes. So that's how it looks. And if you shake it up, it gets nice and bubbly. I don't know if you can see that well. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. See? Um, so yeah, that's how it looks. Not much different than the fabric softener, really. Um, so it's a wonderful alternative, in my opinion, and it's well worth the money. So I like it. And like I said, you can just add a little bit of vanilla extract if you want to make it a little bit more of like an off-white color, like formula. But I'm quite happy with it this way. I don't really mind. So, yeah, that is the Miracle Milk. Try it out. Just search for it on eBay and you will find it. So, I'm going to have lots of fun making all my bottles with this now because at least I know it won't go all clumpy and bad on me. So, yay! Alright, thanks so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we will see you next time. Bye! You grace pajamas of the night. Um, these are some pajamas that I got at the Baby Gap. Oh, Riley's coming to say hello as usual. Hi, Riley. Hi, baby. Yes, we're just showing Grace's pajamas. Yeah. All right, so they are from Baby Gap, and I bought them, uh, I believe I bought them for her first birthday. So...